Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio. 43617-419-531-6097. I don't know why I just said that. Uh, this, uh, you probably saw the video, it says DC. Well, my DCs uh, are going to be at the end of this. Well, at the end, well there's going to be, it's going to be edited after this. I had done my DCs, and if I would have just waited just like three more minutes, UPS showed up, and I could have done what I'm doing now at the end of that video. So I'm going to have this video first, and then we'll have the, the DC videos. I got some reorders in, so let's go ahead and do them. I didn't see sense on doing a brand new video just for these reorders because this thing is going to just take just mere minutes for me to do this video. Lots of bubble wrap, and again, they couldn't put the bubble wrap. Here's an idea. Maybe wrap this in the bubble wrap. Put it on top. Does no good to protect the bottom. I don't know. Is it really? Do you have to? Is, is that something you really have to tell somebody? My God. Really? Did you need to? Do you need to? You, pr you probably need to tell them when you eat food, you can't just br break off chunks and just swallow it. You need to chew it up. I think people are that stupid these days. That they'll sue food companies. You didn't say I had to chew it. I shouldn't. We, I, I shouldn't even bring it up because that's something that could happen. I mean, if somebody gets sued because coffee is hot, well, there you go. But retro fan, Mr. Steven, your retro fan is here, and Mr. Michael, your Power Rangers figure is here. And let's see what's this here. God, I didn't know it was this size here. I thought it was just regular size. I had somebody asking about Lenore, so we got a couple of different Lenore books in here. Wow, I didn't realize they were that size. But they're regular, just uh, trade paperback size. Let's see, there's other Lenore books we got too. Pink Bellies. I have not had Lenore here in a while. Not had any ask about Lenore in a while. The same with Squee. We've got, we've got Squee. We were real more Johnny's. Now the guy that asked me for Johnny, and then I sold out because he wasn't here. Then he showed back up again, and I still haven't seen him back. But I've got a couple of Johnny's here. I think this is volume two. No, this is volume one of Department of Truth. I was out of those for a while. Might as well reorder those. Here's G.I. Joe volume 23 trade. Star Wars High Republic Monster of uh, Temple Park. That's for Robin. Got some more something that's killing the children volume one trades. It's been a good seller thus far. There's another one. The boys. Got the boys complete set for for a walking boot paw. We'll get your get your boys here for you, walking boot paw. Hopefully we'll see you in this week. Should have because he wants a complete set. Then I had somebody else asking for Dear Becky. I've got that coming in probably on Thursday. Another something that's killing the children. Let's see. Willie's Wonderland. Not something I ordered or wrote down the wrong or they processed it wrong. Something, something, something. Somebody's asking about Deadpool Black, White, and Blood number three. Here's a G.I. Joe Volume 24. Let's 
NYX number three. I think that's for Sean. I think that's for Sean. G.I. Joe volume 22. Not J. Scott Campbell cover. This will read Sonia number three. That is for Robin also. Finally, finally got that in here. Mr. Jeff's Department of Truth 14 gets sent out to him. More boys, volume three to go with the volume four. And the volume two that's there. Figured I needed to reorder more anyways. Here's a volume six. Another volume six of the boys. And then finally a volume three of the boys. And I think I've got one and five here for, for Paul also. But that's it for this video. Keep watching. You've got the DCs coming up next. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Have a great Monday, February 7th. Once again, thank you. Hey, it's JC here, JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, 4361 uh, you can find the Facebook link in the description below. There was a problem, I guess, with the link. And I think that has been uh, has been corrected. So thanks to the shop steward for pointing it out to me, man. You're uh, you're an invaluable asset to my business. And I'm gonna pause because, of course, the phone is ringing. Of course, it is. I'm gonna pause and come back. Okay, probably didn't think I was gone because my hand was still there. Uh, got a call. I got to take care of something really quick. Take care of somebody out in the parking lot. Has some comics I'm going to take out to them. So I'll be back. But uh, also before I uh, before I go or before I come back, uh, I mentioned the shops uh, with JC's Comics and more at Hotmail. And then on uh, I don't post stuff very often because. I just don't have the whole lot of time to do it, and not as much time as I like to do it, because I like to have that little thing they call sleep every once in a while. Although my dreams keep me keep me nice and tired, so when I wake up in the day, I'm I'm tired. I I have get no rest. Uh, we do have our annual Super Bowl sale coming next Monday and Tuesday. I've got information up on the shops uh, website already. And if you've not signed up for the newsletter, you can sign up for the newsletter on there. I sent out newsletters already out yesterday. I'll send out several more. Uh, I've got a link to the shop's uh, website on the Facebook page, which, again, you can find the link in the description below because there's two different Facebook pages, one I got locked out of. Uh, so... Uh, uh, it's next Monday and Tuesday. And of course, it all depends on who wins. Uh, you know, I get different different uh, sales uh, incentives if the if the Rams win or if the Bengals win. So, but I've got to go take care of this real quick. We'll come back and get our DCs counted out. It's a fairly large week for DC. I think I counted sixteen titles. Marvel has like 11 titles, so last week was a big Marvel week, a light DC week. It's a bigger DC week as opposed to Marvel this week, so I'll be back momentarily. I am back. See if we can get this stuff counted out now. This is the DC Comics. Yeah, I mentioned that already. I think I mentioned that there's like 16 titles. Let me just double check on that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Looks like 22. Boy, I was way off. Well, it looks like 17, 17 titles or somewhere thereabouts.
Okay. Good. I am Batman number six. That is the A cover on that. Let's see. I think this might be the last issue of Harley Quinn, the animated series, the Eat, Bang, and Kill Tour. This, I believe, is a Derek Chu cover. Yep, Derek Chu. That is the B cover on that. Here is the A cover. I must have more somewhere else. That's not in here. Joker. Joker number 12. Yeah, there's. they've got these things split up. This is the A cover on Joker number 12. This is the Black History Month uh, variant on I Am Batman number 6. I've got a customer that's interested in those. Uh, I'm not not buying much as far as stuff like that. Uh, or there's they've got International Women's Day comics covers coming up. Not buying many of those. It's, I'm sad to say that there just isn't huge demand on it. People aren't, at least in this area, aren't aren't uh, supporting that stuff. I try to support it, but if it doesn't sell, it's not selling. I'm just throwing my money away. Justice League 2022 annual, the B cover on that. You know, I'll buy anything if it sells. If it doesn't sell, I'm not buying buying copies. In fact, there's some of those International Women's Day covers. I don't think I'm buying any at all. Uh, here's the A cover on that. Wonder Woman looks like she got, looks like Batman or Superman backhanded her. Looks like she's got a flat nose there. She got busted in the chops. Maybe uh, maybe Cheetah smacked her around a little bit, but that's not that's not a very flattering cover for Wonder Woman. Whoever told that artist that was a flattering cover, they lied to you, dude. They lied. Probably afraid because uh, they knew that you couldn't take criticism. You start running the high end and need your safe space or your internet gas. I mean, even Aquaman doesn't look good. It's like everybody's fo posing for a for a rock album. Everybody's looking in different directions. Future State Gotham number. What the hell number is this? Number ten. Red Hood versus Next Batman to the death. Is it really? Is it really to the death? Or is it just, you know, taking taking some time off? Uh, Detective Comics 10 to 52, the B cover on that. There's more of these Harley Quinn cover A's on Eat Bang Kill. Future State, this is the B cover on issue 10 of Future State, number 10. More copies of I Am Batman, number 6, the A cover. <clears throat> Got more of those Joker 12 covers. And then this is the B cover. Yeah, this is the B cover of Joker, number 12. Here's the A cover on Detective 1052. They need to change artists. These are dull, boring covers. He's trying to he's trying to be artsy. You want to be artsy, dude? Go uh, go start uh, going to a beatnik bar. Be as artsy as you want. Got more detectives. Here's. Covers this, cover C. That's yes, cover C. Batman Urban Legends 12, cover C. Cover B of Urban Legends 12. Cover A of Urban Legends 12. I thought that was initially just supposed to be a mini series but they made it an ongoing series but sales on that book have have plummeted it pretty badly too 
Uh, this is issue six of six, the prelude to the Aquaman. Black Manta versus Devil Ray. That's the A cover. Here is the B cover on that. Yeah, here we got more detectives. Let's see, Batman, Catwoman. There has to be more of these someplace else, obviously. That's the cover A of Batman, Catwoman, issue ten. Make sure I set copies aside before I forget about that. Batman, Scooby Doo Mysteries, number eleven of twelve. One more issue of this to go. Good fun kids book. Nice to have books that are for kids, right? We should have. Batgirls 3, cover B. Batgirls 3, cover A. The Jim Lee cover, the B cover, on Batman Catwoman number 10. Always buy more of the Batman than the Jim Lee covers because Jim Lee sells. There's more cover A's on Batman Catwoman number 10. Make sure I set a copy of that side. All right, let's get the other side here. Joker number 12. This is the variant cover. And I'm not exactly sure. This is some sort of gold envelope for Monkey Prince number one. I'm not sure if this is a giveaway or, or what exactly this is. Uh, or a uh, variant, or a thank you. I think it's some sort of a thank you. I think that's what it, what it's supposed to be. It's been a while since we've. No, actually, this is the number one. I was gonna say. Uh, this is a new Suicide Squad Black Label book called Blaze. That is the A cover. And. This is the B cover. I did not buy many of the Suicide Squad. Despite them pushing it and pushing it, it just doesn't sell. It's like it's DC's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy just doesn't sell for Marvel. But they push it and they push it and they push it and they push it. Ironically enough, James Gunn was associated with both. Coincidence or not? Titans United, number six of seven. I had somebody in the other day just ask it if the new issue was coming out. and like, yeah, it's out in another week or two. So I guess it's the two is not. It's out this week. And the B cover is somewhere. Superman, Son of kal number eight. He teams up with the new Aqualad. John has a taste for sushi. Here is the B is a C cover on Joker number 12 with punchline. I think she's overstayed her welcome. What, what do you think? What's the rest of you think? I think she's overstayed her welcome. Here is the B cover on Titans United number 6. I would rather they just brought Connor, uh, Connor back and not do what they did with him. Uh, Strange Love Adventures number one. This is the B cover by Amanda Connor. DC likes to do these specials around holidays and stuff. That's the first one of those. Those always run $10. Now, I did not order very many of those. Batman Catwoman number 10, cover C. 
got uh, another copy of the Dark Knight Returns trade. I was out of those, reordered those, as I did for these Volume 1 uh, Sandman Preludes and Nocturnes. I just sold a copy the other day, so I needed to restock it. And luckily, it's coming in, just came in. This is the A cover on the Strange Love Adventures. Can never go wrong with Harley Quinn and dinosaurs. You've got me. I uh, ordered an extra copy of this just for myself, just because of that. I don't know if there's dinosaurs on the inside or not, but that dinosaur cover, that's a really cool dinosaur cover. That's a really cool Tyrannosaurus. And Harley ain't too bad either. Although, he's going to get heartburn if he eats hers. He might get the runs, too. It's always funny until, it's, until you're the one that's getting it. Superman, Son of kal number 8. That is the A cover on this. You guys still buying this? You still excited about this? Let me know, people. Inquiring minds want to know. And then finally, we end up with the last issue of Pennyworth. Alfred Pennyworth, number 7 of 7. If you do guys do enjoy these videos, be sure to please subscribe to the channel. Just takes just a second. Smash the bell for notification. That way you don't miss anything. Like tomorrow, there's going to be lots of videos with merchandise coming in. There's 19 different pops coming in. I've got 19 pops coming in tomorrow. Between last week and this week, that puts me at damn near 40 different pops in two weeks. Um, be sure to uh, like, comment, and share. Other than that, thanks for watching. Everybody have a great February 7th. Thank you.